do you take me for, an idiot? Well, you'll find out just how wrong you are. An idiot? Oh, no, you're no idiot, my love. But you are as an hysterical lunatic. An hysterical lunatic? And who the hell is this Federica telephoning every ten minutes with that sexy voice of hers? Cut it out. This Federica, whoever she is, has got to be a client. Sure, just like all the others. Whores, that's all they are. I've had enough of your line. And I'm through paying your debts for you as well. I guess you'll have to find another sucker, dear. Ah. Oh, yes, dear, I went to the bank yesterday. You drew out $10,000 this month. I'm closing that account. You close the bank account, and I'll be forced to close the office. You call it an office, do you? Don't be funny, will you? Monday, I have to pay the Lewisman contract and the employees. Norma, what are you thinking? That I bounce back and forth between nightclubs and whorehouses spending thousands of dollars? Like in those books you love to read? Be serious. Then there's the bank. Two payments due the day after tomorrow. 10,000 or I'm dead. You'll have to pay it on your own then, won't you? I'm not paying a thing and the account is only in my name. You don't mean that. You can't be serious. You're sick. Oh, I do mean it though, darling. You belong in an institution. You're gonna destroy everything. The projects, the plans I've developed, the money invested. But one thing is certain, darling. I'm walking out of this house. And you can take your money and buy yourself a straitjacket. They're in vogue this season at the bloody asylum. Oh, and if Federica calls, tell her I'll be there soon. Hello? Is Federica there? Who's speaking? Mr. Minardi. I'm sorry, Federica has already gone out. Oh, I see. Well, thank you. Will you tell her I call, please? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Here, let me. Very pretty lighter. Your initials are on it, too. Let's hope it works. We'll get this cigarette lit, hmm? All right, what do you want? Oh, nothing special. I think we should have a little talk, though. Would you like to tell me about that woman you eliminated? It's none of your business, friend. Of course. But you should watch out. I don't believe the police like fishing cadavers out of the canal. I hope that's not a threat. I wouldn't like it. A threat? No. But I do have your lighter. Your fingerprints are on it, and I know what you look like. So you know what I think? I think we can work a deal. In fact, you'll come out ahead. $20,000 ahead. Then who do I have to kill? They're very receptive. Yeah, now who is it? Oh, just another girl. The goose that lays the golden egg. My wife. Should be easy for you. I refuse. That wouldn't be a good idea. I give the police the lighter, a description. I tell the police where a uh, woman's body is. I think we have a deal, don't you? to see me, aren't you? I thought you were going. Well, I couldn't stay away. Norma, we've been acting like little children. You know, we're really something. Maybe we're always fighting because our emotions are strung out. It's true. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry. No. No, dear. I was wrong. But after tonight, everything will change, I promise you. Oh, I love you so much, darling. I'll give you anything you want. All the others. They didn't happen. Mm. Oh. You're the only one I love, Norma. Remember that. Show me. Show me. I wouldn't be able to live without you. I love you, and you know it. And I don't want us to lose that love. Don't worry. We won't lose it. We'll be 
All right. And especially tonight. Yes, especially tonight. I think I've found a solution to all our problems. E voi vivete nella mia luce, e così sarà finché io splenderò. E io lotto per i secoli dei secoli col malvagio, e per quante volte cadrò, tanto risorgerò finché il mistero si sarà compiuto. Poiché tu hai servato la parola della mia costanza, anch'io ti guarderò dall'ora del cimento che ha da venire su tutto il mondo per mettere alla prova quelli che hanno nella morte e dalla morte risorgere in specie di corpi di lucelli. She'll be at the theater tonight. Returns at one. She'll be all alone in the house then. I already told her that a friend of mine would stop by tonight. So don't worry. She'll be sure to let you in. From now on, it's your ball game. Remember, no blood. It's got to look like she was kidnapped. And watch out for the neighbors. Make sure they don't spot your car. You can stop worrying about it. No one's going to notice my car on that street. And the cash. Your money's right here. And don't forget to telephone those numbers I gave you. And you better call from different phones. Sure. You'll come off perfect. Everybody will believe it. What about the rest of the door? I'll bring it to you. When the job is done, I'll have to get it from my father-in-law. You see, he's a big industrialist. He has the money. Look, I don't care about any industrialists. All I want is the dough. You'll be getting your money, all right. And think about leaving town. Yes? Mrs. Manali? Yes, who is this? I'm a friend of your husband's. I'm terribly sorry. My husband isn't here. Yes, I know. I spoke with him on the telephone and he asked me to wait for him. He assured me he'd be home in a few minutes, Mrs. Minardi. Do you work with my husband? Yes. We're working together on the Lewison project. 
He and I are going to have to spend a little time working together tonight. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't expecting anyone. At this hour. I'll open the gate for you. No, my wife couldn't make it. She sends her regrets. Her mother wasn't feeling well. But thank you. She preferred to see her through the night. But, but that's enough of that, right? I have a new one, I must tell you. I heard yeah, it today. Tell me why most girls from good families are in bed by 9 o'clock. I have the no slightest no. idea. No? No. Because they must be home at midnight. <laughs> oh, that's the worst one. Yeah. I hope he doesn't keep you waiting too long. It doesn't matter. What has to be done is worth waiting for. I see. Come in, then. This way. I guess your husband didn't have time to warn you I was coming. You know how situations develop, especially in business. Yes, I know. Please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Would you care for a drink while you wait? Ah, yes, I would. Perhaps some water. Oh, you really want nothing else? No need to be polite. No, just water. At a certain point, the girl has a nightmare. And then she awakes all upset. Over here. you. I had to come over here because the light hurt my eyes. Got a terrible headache. I could get you an aspirin. I should think that might help. I don't know. Yeah, an aspirin. I hope it's not any trouble. No, no trouble at all. Uh, Mr. Uh, I'm awfully sorry, but I didn't get your name. That's because I didn't give it to you. And I have a good reason for not. Very good. And that's very important. Excuse me, will you? I'll get your aspirin.
Why? You see how easy it is to steal a car? Oh, with the door open and the keys inside, anyone could do it. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get curious. I wonder who this car belongs to. Whoever he is, he's going to turn somersaults the minute he learns about it. I'd sure like to see your face if someone stole your car. <laughs> I don't have a car, and if I did, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave it open with the keys in it. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, hold on to yourself, baby, because I'm about to let this big mother fly. drunk to talk, let alone get directions. You sure we're on the right road? Mm -hmm. The cliffs, the sea, at last. It'll be beautiful. Did you see the photos? The clean ocean, the old villa, the waves coming in and all that gorgeous sun. Did you know that last summer Alberto wanted me to go there with him and I almost did. He has this wild jaguar. He said I'm the only one he'd take. <laughs> not too damn hard for him to say. Why? Because it's easy for him in Daddy's car. I'd like to see him steal a car to ride you around. Mercedes just come through here? Yeah, they came through about a couple minutes ago. A guy and a girl. They asked me for directions to the beach and then they took off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> out of gas. Oh, no. I knew something would happen, so now what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't have any money. That's nice. I don't have any money either. I'm sorry, you can't go in. But this is my house. Then are you Mr. Maynardi? Yes. We've been searching every place for you. The inspector wants to speak to you. Okay, use the gas station. Just remember, keep cool, huh? If we blow it, we've had it. Look, I'm scared. Listen, we don't have a choice. Just do what I told you. What's it gonna be, sir? Might as well, uh, fill it up. Right. It's almost finished. Right, sir. That'll be ten dollars. It's pretty near empty. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, all I got's a hundred. Can you break it? I think so. I had a pretty good, good day. Thanks. You bastard, you freaking little bastard, you. Hey, 
At first, Mr. Minari, it appeared to be a routine car theft. At least that's what we thought. Half the neighborhood was awakened. And then someone noticed that the door to your house was ajar. That should be all right. Thank you. You can go now. The uh, police were summoned, and after they got here, I was informed. There were signs of a struggle, and the phone was ripped out. A neighbor swears he saw the thief, a man walking out of this house. Therefore, things become a little more complicated. Mr. Maynardi, I think you might prepare yourself for the possibility that your wife was kidnapped. Or have you another idea? Kidnapper? What could they possibly gain? Your wife's family is wealthy and well-known. And that's a damn good reason. Or am I wrong? No, but I'm just... I don't know. I don't understand it. Hell, other people have more money than we do. Certainly. That's right. But there are criminals these days with more ability than those that kidnapped your wife. What do you mean? You see, Mr. Maynard, usually kidnappers are quite content with the money they would get. But in this case, there are things that leave us, uh, how shall I say, a little perplexed. And these kidnappers behaved in, in what I'll call uh, a manner quite illogical. A kidnapping? No, I don't think that's right. Do you, Mr. Minardi? What kind of a car was it? It was a, a gray Mercedes, but those bastards won't get too far. I got their license number right here in my noggin. It's uh, MS3. Uh, I know the number. The car belongs to me. The girl is, is my daughter. Gee, I... How much money did they take? Well, it was 150 they got. Here's a couple hundred. And forget about the whole thing, would you? Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Shoot, Clay, I don't have kids. Were they heading toward the beach? Cut off, yeah. They took that first turn off down there. Thanks. Get up. All set, Inspector. I got the telephone fixed. Good boy, Summers. You can go. Now, Mr. Maynardi, the telephone is fixed and uh, we've put a tap on it. It could be useful. The inflection of the voice, the manner in which they speak, they're very strange. What do you mean by strange? I don't understand. What the hell's so strange, Inspector? There are too many things that don't check out in this case. Tell me what you're driving at. Minardi will reason it out. Right now, we're to think this is a kidnapping. They've had to plan this operation well in advance, really work it out. And then what do they do? They come without a car. They had to break into and steal one across the street. I find that strange. And they wake the whole neighborhood in the process. What are they, maniacs? One moment. Wait till I'm done. Don't be so hasty, my good man. They walked right into your house without any of the tools usually used by a kidnapper. Why use a telephone cord instead of a rope or a heezer? Or did something go wrong with their plans? And who opened the door for them? Now, don't you wonder what went on? Someone's following us. Who is it? Take a look. Are you sure they're following us? Every time I slow down, they do too. Look, I'm scared. Can't you do something? It could be the owner. Or, or maybe it's just some kids fooling around. Yeah, or else it's the police on us. No. Uh, they'd have pulled us over already. They wouldn't fool around. Even if the man at the station phoned in, they couldn't get to us this soon. It's got to be the owner. Who else? How could it be him, though? If he found us this quick, why is he laying back? How could he know which road we took? It's impossible. Maybe we'd better stop. Then we can see what he does. And what if it is the police, Luca? I don't know, damn it. Uh, we'll just see what happens. If it is the police, I'll... I don't know, I'll tell him some kind of a story. Ah, we can pull over here. Now we'll see what's going on. He's slowing down. Thank you. 
Luca. Stay cool. one of your tail lights out on the left side. Why didn't you have it fixed? Uh, sorry, I didn't know. Well, I hope you do know that it's dangerous to drive without it. Uh, yes, I know that. It's just that I wasn't aware that it was out. And it was working all right earlier. And I'll be sure and have it fixed tomorrow. Why is it that you've stopped here? Uh, because I, I, was, I was getting tired and I didn't want to take a chance of falling asleep at the wheel. Uh, I see. Show me your license, please. There you are. And the papers for the car? It should be here. Here they are. This automobile, it isn't yours. Uh, There's uh, another name written here. Uh, it's my uncle's. Uh, my uncle owed me his car because, because I wanted to go to the beach. You're sure your uncle's aware that you're driving his car tonight? You're not lying to me, are you? Well, he said I could borrow it whenever I wanted, and... Uh, you know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. Let's have a look at your triangle. Triangle? I'll open up the trunk. Capone! Yeah! Let's go. Another kidnapping in the 4th Precinct. There was some shooting. Get a move on! Make sure you get that taillight fixed first thing tomorrow. I'm smiling. <laughs> oh, man, it was just like playing it. Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, no. That's not my kind of game. Why not? Because he was impotent, and I'm just the opposite. So look at Coffee might make you feel better. I don't understand why we haven't heard anything. Calm down. In these cases, you must have patience. That is, if it really is a kidnapping. They sent no ransom notes, no messages, and they made no attempt to telephone. And nobody as yet has reported anything on that automobile that was stolen. I know. These things do take a little while. It's no good trying to rush them. Why don't you get some sleep? No. I don't think right now I could get any sleep. I understand. I'd be the same way in your place. I should be getting down to headquarters to see if anything new has developed. <laughs> Seagull Rock, short. Straight ahead, two or three kilometers. The other side of town. You can't miss it. There's a big sign, green, I think. It's the only road to the beach. Have a nice day. Hello? Hello? So this Hello? Excuse me, Inspector. Mr. Maynard is in your office. Uh, he's there now? Yes. All right, thank you. Both. Oh. 
Check all the details. Police headquarters. Right. 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 Has anything new turned up, Inspector? No, absolutely nothing. Nothing about the kidnapper or the car. Oh, sit down. Anyway, don't be discouraged. Something will turn up. It always does. I still don't understand it. I mean, this is like a story you read in the papers. There's nothing to do now but wait. But would you mind looking at these photos? You uh, might have seen one or more of them hanging around your house in the last few days. Never seen them. Hmm. It's possible, I guess, that they're new in town. Ah, very nice lighter you have. But the initials, they aren't yours, though, are they? It's really a very pretty lighter. Where did you get it, mind my asking? A friend gave it to me, a colleague I used to work with before he left the country. He said it'll bring me good luck as long as I have it. Seagull Rock, I'm glad we came. Look how wonderful the sea is and, and the waves. And the sun, it's so lovely here. Oh, Luke, I do love you, really. Thank you for bringing me. I've been dreaming about it so long. Now, at least now you'll stop complaining. Oh, Luca, be nice to me, please. I know I was difficult, but I didn't want it to be just an adventure. Well, you're happy now? <laughs> you bet. Well, you'll have to prove it to me. I know the best way to show my love is to make love to you, but the proper emotion is very important for me. I want it to mean something. How much farther do you think it'll be? Oh, it can't be much further. Ah, there's the sign. Ah, yes. Glad to be here? Yes. We made it. Should be right over there, I think. I'm going to make you a beautiful day. Uh, I'd like us to be the only ones on the beach. It'd be a real drag if other people were there. Eh, people are no people. It's going to be beautiful. Aren't you bored with being a virgin? Bored has nothing to do with it. I want it to be right, and I'm a little frightened, I guess. <laughs> there, look. Come on, let's take a look. Two kids on a Mercedes. Oh yeah, they came through about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes ago. One of directions to Seagull Rock. Have a nice day. Right now, I'm not sure we were right coming here. But it was your idea, wasn't it? I did exactly what you wanted, didn't I? So what's wrong? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's just... It's just that when you dream about something and then you get it, I guess you're always a bit disappointed. It's 
beautiful here, but it's sad. It almost frightens me. The colors have become lost. They've lost everything. They're so harsh. The sea is strange. Something's changed. The beach is gray and it becomes grayer. Oh, come on. I don't see anything changed. Tell me, is there something else scaring you? Yes, but I don't know it. Laura? Hey, what's wrong? You don't feel it. Oh, what? I don't know. It seems as though someone else were here. I mean... I mean, like, someone watching. Come on, Laura, don't be like that. Mm. I'm sorry. I feel so strange here. It's so, so creepy. Luca, maybe we better go, huh? Okay? Come on, let's go. Look, Laura. Please. Laura, wait. What is it now? Look, we don't have to go. We can use this old house. It's deserted, look. It's just a place. But how do we get in? The door's closed. I'll open it, no sweat. I've got this something around to open it up with. Uh, yes, what? Ah, uh, there's a jack handle in the car, huh? You wait here, I'll go bring it. Okay. Luca, forget it! We don't need it! Why? What'd you find? Look. The door's just pulled shut. The lock's broken. Yeah. Let's see. You're right, it's been forced. Happens all the time, I suppose, eh? These villas are always getting broken into. Just like the cars in town. <laughs> Let's get on with it. No. Let's go, come on. <laughs> Baby, we're in Dracula's castle. Don't joke around. I'm scared enough already, Luca. It's a strange house. Mm. Yeah, nobody's been here in years. You know, it does seem just like Dracula's house, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty well run down, isn't it? The house has had it. yourself as some kind of art. You think so? I sure do. I don't. I... Uh, someone wanted me to pose nude like that. You didn't know that, did you? It was for a magazine, the biggest in Europe, and they wanted to pay a thousand dollars. And did you do it? <laughs> no. Pity about that. You missed mm. out on a lot of money. I know, but... Say now, couldn't be you're just interested in money, are you? Right now, it's something else. Oh, I'm not scared now, Luca. And now, why don't we look for something to make us more comfortable, hmm? Is that a good idea? That's a good idea. I'll go see what I can find, okay? <laughs>
Oh, and if a wolf comes around, just whistle. <laughs> I'll do more than that. What I found. Oh, you scared me. I didn't know you were there. And how have things been in the convent? Uh, not bad. Can't complain. We're here by the sea. And uh, all we have to do now is inflate this thing. Inflate it? How? Your lungs are working, aren't they? Laura, you're one complicated woman. You know that? <laughs> no, I'm not. We'll put it right here. That should do the trick, don't you think? Now, blow it up. All right. How's it going? An elephant couldn't get this thing up. It's damn full of holes. Look, look at it. Oh. And now what do we do, huh? What do we do? Mm. Well, little one, I'll show you what we do. Mm. No. No, Luke. No. I'm... I'm hungry. All right, I'll get us something later. I'll kill myself a dinosaur and bring it back here. <laughs> okay? But for now... <laughs> Hello. This is Inspector Chelly. Have you heard anything? No, no one's telephoned yet. Well, keep me informed, will you? Have you seen your father-in-law? Not yet. Why? Well, could be a good idea. He might tell you something that could help us catch these kidnappers a little sooner. He just might... Uh... Tell you something in passing that he wouldn't normally tell the police. Yes, I understand. Good man. And you'll keep in touch, then? Happy to, Inspector. Get us a little something to eat, huh? Right now? Yes, right now. I'm hungry. I don't believe you. But I'm hungry, I tell you. I promise I am. I hope you're Honest. not starting another one of your dumb games, Laura. No. Just do me this one favor, Luca. And no more games when I get back, all right? Mm -mm. Hurry. Don't worry about that.
Something I can do? I certainly hope so. Something's wrong with my car. I'll take a look. Oh, thanks. What seems to be the trouble? I don't know. It just doesn't go. Luca. Luca, don't scare me again. Lady, you need a mechanic. A mechanic? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. But if you like, I might. Uh, I could give you a ride. You would? Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. I'll get my purse. For you, I came along. Yeah. And for me, too. You don't meet a beautiful blonde every day. Uh, not like you. It is my lucky day. I might have been picked up by a nasty old man. Now, how come a good-looking broad like you is driving around by herself anyway? Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, I'm not all alone now, am I? I'm in the company of a handsome gentleman. Thank you. You're welcome. And we're in no rush, are we?
Where's the car? I said, where's the car? What car? I don't know. Talk. I don't know, I tell you. I don't know. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'm going to kill you if you don't talk. I don't know. Leave me alone. Please. Please. You. Leave me alone. I don't know. I'll make you something. Look, I have it. Look, uh... Where is it? He has it back there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You were having a good time with my car, weren't you? No. Well, now it's my turn to have a good time. You make one move and I'll cut your throat. No. Please don't. Please. No. Drive, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I had to take my driving lesson six times. Now I'll show you how good I am. Let's see. First gear. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's just great. I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. This is serious. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Oh. That could have been a lot worse. What's wrong with the trunk? It just doesn't close so good anymore. Move over. I think I'd better drive. If you insist. 
It's all right. It's all right. Darling, how come you're taking me to Seagull Rock? Don't worry about it, you'll dig it. I want your show a girlfriend of mine if you're those groovy tricks of yours. Oh, a threesome? I'm not sure she's your type, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> Listen, if this other broad won't swing, that's her problem. You and I will leave, and that's into that. Here we are. This is the place. Oh, it's sweet. Shit. What's wrong? I better have a look. You wait here, okay? Don't be long, okay? No. Laura.
calm down. That woman's been killed. It was the young man who was with you who did it. It'll be all right. Inspector's inside waiting for us. You better come in. It's all right. It's over now. Inspector, have you heard anything? No, nothing yet. Have you seen your father-in-law yet? No, I haven't felt like leaving. They might call. Yes, I understand. However, I went to see him, and he's very concerned. After all, she is his only daughter. And she's my wife. Well, certainly, Mr. Minardi, only a father's love is different. A father is never unfaithful to his daughter. And, uh, he happened to mention a number of very interesting things about you, you know. He did. Oh, yes, and you don't seem to be on his good side, do you? In any case, he's preparing the ransom money for you to pick up. It should be ready now. You serious? Here, sit down. I'll go get the inspector. Be right back. Have they phoned my father-in-law? Um, uh, no. But it's important that you have the cash ready to be delivered, don't you think so? I don't believe the kidnappers would take a check. The serial numbers and the cash have been recorded. It, uh, it could be of service. The hell with the money, Inspector. Norma's more important. Yes, of course. She is worth $10 million, though, isn't she?
in our files. He's wanted all over the country, suspected of complicity in a number of murders. We've been looking for him for a long time. We didn't know too much about him. We're still not sure of his real name. I must say your trip to the beach has been very exciting, hasn't it? Damn exciting. If we hadn't stolen it. If we hadn't borrowed that car. I know, that other poor girl would still be alive. But we might still have a murderer on the loose. The police aren't going to prosecute you for the car. You've been punished enough. Well, Laura, if Luca helps, I'm sure one day you'll forget all about this. And he'll help you, I'm sure. I will. I'll do my best, Inspector. I'm sure of it. I think you can depend on each other. <laughs> and now, Mr. Minardi, what do we do with him? It won't be easy to bring charges against him. I think I'll give it a try in any case. Who knows? He might give himself away. Inspector. Glad I found your way. We have a few new leads. They're still being checked out, of course. Uh, what leads? Have the kidnappers contacted you? Oh, no, no. They haven't been in contact. However, we did find the car that was stolen in front of your house. And that isn't uh, bad news, is it? And your father-in-law? Uh, yes, I took care of that. He gave me a half million dollars. All in the denominations you wanted. That should be enough, huh? Uh-huh. No, 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 that's not necessary. Why don't you just go home? Oh, by the way... The men I had on duty at your house have been relieved. But why? These kidnappers might show their hand more freely if they think you're not being watched. At least we hope so. So be ready. If anything develops, you let me know right away. I'll do that, don't worry. 
Good night, Inspector. This time your friend's lighter didn't bring you good luck, did it? He had bad luck too. You see, he was killed this morning. I might have known it. I guess we better get going. It's beginning to get very cold.
do you take me for, an idiot? Well, you'll find out just how wrong you are. An idiot? Oh, no, you're no idiot, my love. But you are as an hysterical lunatic. An hysterical lunatic? And who the hell is this Federica telephoning every ten minutes with that sexy voice of hers? Cut it out. This Federica, whoever she is, has got to be a client. Sure, just like all the others. Whores, that's all they are. I've had enough of your lying. And I'm through paying your debts for you as well. I guess you'll have to find another sucker, dear. Ah. Oh, yes, dear, I went to the bank yesterday. You drew out $10,000 this month. I'm closing that account. You close the bank account, and I'll be forced to close the office. You call it an office, do you? Don't be funny, will you? Monday, I have to pay the Lewisman contract and the employees. Norma, what are you thinking? That I bounce back and forth between nightclubs and whorehouses spending thousands of dollars? Like in those books you love to read? Be serious. Then there's the bank. Two payments due the day after tomorrow. 10,000 or I'm dead. You'll have to pay it on your own then, won't you? I'm not paying a thing and the account is only in my name. You don't mean that. You can't be serious. You're sick. Oh, I do mean it though, darling. You belong in an institution. You're gonna destroy everything. The projects, the plans I've developed, the money invested. But one thing is certain, darling. I'm walking out of this house. And you can take your money and buy yourself a straitjacket. They're in vogue this season at the bloody asylum. Oh, and if Federica calls, tell her I'll be there soon. Hello? Is Federica there? Who's speaking? Mr. Minardi. I'm sorry, Federica has already gone out. Oh, I see. Well, thank you. Will you tell her I call, please? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Here, let me. Very pretty lighter. Your initials are on it, too. Let's hope it works. We'll get this cigarette lit, hmm? All right, what do you want? Oh, nothing special. I think we should have a little talk, though. Would you like to tell me about that woman you eliminated? It's none of your business, friend. Of course. But you should watch out. I don't believe the police like fishing cadavers out of the canal. I hope that's not a threat. I wouldn't like it. A threat? No. But I do have your lighter. Your fingerprints are on it, and I know what you look like. So you know what I think? I think we can work a deal. In fact, you'll come out ahead. $20,000 ahead. Then who do I have to kill? They're very receptive. Yeah, now who is it? Oh, just another girl. The goose that lays the golden egg. My wife. Should be easy for you. I refuse. That wouldn't be a good idea. I give the police the lighter, a description. I tell the police where uh, the woman's body is. I think we have a deal, don't you? to see me, aren't you? I thought you were going. Well, I couldn't stay away. Norma, we've been acting like little children. You know, we're really something. Maybe we're always fighting because our emotions are strung out. It's true. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry. No. No, dear. I was wrong. But after tonight, everything will change, I promise you. Oh, I love you so much, darling. I'll give you anything you want. All the others. They didn't happen. Mm. Oh. You're the only one I love, Norma. Remember that. Show me. Show me. I wouldn't be able to live without you. I love you, and you know it. And I don't want us to lose that love. Don't worry. We won't lose it. We'll be 
All right. And especially tonight. Yes, especially tonight. I think I've found a solution to all our problems. E voi vivete nella mia luce, e così sarà finché io splenderò. E io lotto per i secoli dei secoli col malvagio, e per quante volte cadrò, tanto risorgerò finché il mistero si sarà compiuto. Poiché tu hai servato la parola della mia costanza, anch'io ti guarderò dall'ora del cimento che ha da venire su tutto il mondo per mettere alla prova quelli che hanno nella morte e dalla morte risorgere in specie di corpi di lucenti. She'll be at the theater tonight. Returns at one. She'll be all alone in the house then. I already told her that a friend of mine would stop by tonight. So don't worry. She'll be sure to let you in. From now on, it's your ball game. Remember, no blood. It's got to look like she was kidnapped. And watch out for the neighbors. Make sure they don't spot your car. You can stop worrying about it. No one's going to notice my car on that street. And the cash. Your money's right here. And don't forget to telephone those numbers I gave you. And you better call from different phones. Sure. You'll come off perfect. Everybody will believe it. What about the rest of the door? I'll bring it to you. When the job is done, I'll have to get it from my father-in-law. You see, he's a big industrialist. He has the money. Look, I don't care about any industrialist. All I want is the dough. You'll be getting your money, all right. And think about leaving town. Yes? Mrs. Minotti? Yes, who is this? I'm a friend of your husband's. I'm terribly sorry. My husband isn't here. Yes, I know. I spoke with him on the telephone and he asked me to wait for him. He assured me he'd be home in a few minutes, Mrs. Minardi. Do you work with my husband? Yes. We're working together on the Lewison project. 
He and I are going to have to spend a little time working together tonight. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't expecting anyone. At this hour. I'll open the gate for you. No, my wife couldn't make it. She sends her regrets. Her mother wasn't feeling well. Uh, thank you. She preferred to see her through the night. But, but that's enough of that, right? I have a new one, I must tell you. I heard yeah, it today. Tell me why most girls from good families are in bed by 9 o'clock. I have no slightest no. idea. No? No. Because they must be home at midnight. <laughs> oh, that's the worst one. Yeah. I hope he doesn't keep you waiting too long. It doesn't matter. What has to be done is worth waiting for. I see. Come in, then. This way. I guess your husband didn't have time to warn you I was coming. You know how situations develop, especially in business. Yes, I know. Please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Would you care for a drink while you wait? Uh, yes, I would. Perhaps some water. Oh, you really want nothing else? No need to be polite. No, just water. At a certain point, the girl has a nightmare. And then she awakes all upset. Over here. you. I had to come over here because the light hurt my eyes. Got a terrible headache. I could get you an aspirin. I should think that might help. I don't know. Yeah, an aspirin. I hope it's not any trouble. No, no trouble at all. Uh, Mr. Uh, I'm awfully sorry, but I didn't get your name. That's because I didn't give it to you. And I have a good reason for not. Very good. And that's very important. Excuse me, will you? I'll get your aspirin.
Here you are. You see how easy it is to steal a car? Oh, with the door open and the keys inside, anyone could do it. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get curious. I wonder who this car belongs to. Whoever he is, he's going to turn somersaults the minute he learns about it. I'd sure like to see your face if someone stole your car. <laughs> I don't have a car, and if I did, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave it open with the keys in it. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, hold on to yourself, baby, because I'm about to let this big mother fly. <laughs> <laughs> 